Welcome to the system. Which system are we talking about? We have, let's see if screen fetch is installed. Nope, a new fetch is installed. Yeah, so we have new fetch installed and Sonia 18.2 XFCE is working. So we are working on um, VirtualBox, by the way. Um, so it might feel a bit slower, you can see it here. Um, but it's quite okay. So we've installed everything and we have um, checked also the icons because the tutorial is about visiting XFCE, checking the icons and the icons have all been downloaded and put inside dot icons. We have um, pop, 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 141 icon choices, minus one, this does not count. So 140 icons from the surfing ones, 17, then the Sardi core from SourceForge are 20 and 103 variations. Using the scripts in Sardi from SourceForge, we made 103 extra. So it's up to you to the choi uh, choice of 140 icons. So you probably have an icon in there you like. So we go to here and then we go to the appearance and a lot of themes as well. The arc themes will work on XFCE as well. And then the icons, we can go over all these icons as you can see, a lot of possibilities, a lot of change. You can open up a file manager, which is by the way, to an R. And then you just click and you go over all of these choices, 104 choices, takes a while. A lot of um, the folders are the same, there are 11 folders and well, you have 16 million colors and a lot of elements in each of these folders so you can color any of these folders with the use of the script. Three seconds later you have a new icon theme with a new color. So that's how it works and that's why we have so many. All right, um, I want to check again, how about making new icons? Is it necessary? I have this Sardi flexible arc. Let's use this one. Why? Because everything should be blue in here. So all should be blue except this one. That's okay. It's looking for something. A magnifier. This is also normal because it's actually pointing to not an icon, but uh, to an um, extension of a file. And that's okay. Everything looks good. Last check. We go inside home, file system. Now we have to open, double click. We go to user, share, applications, this one. Some of them, these guys look like that. That's quite normal. That's just because they don't have an icon. They never need an icon. They never will have a program, so they don't need an icon like compass and so on. But some of them, like these ones, they should have an icon like this one. So there are three already, but not following the Sardi theme. And they're not following any theme. These are hard-coded icons. Hard-coded icons are Atom is installed. Let's use Atom. These are hard-coded icons. There's a path in front of it. You can change any icon you want, any icon theme you want, but it's always going to be that ugly, <coughs> ugly, uh, out of theme icon. So that's uh, a thing the software engineer should stop doing and leave us uh, with the freedom to change the icon the way we want and the way we see fit because this really does look ugly everything blue and just this one and this one is broken we can fix it luckily we go to data linux mint no not here i'm afraid we need to go to the net to fix that there is something i use and it's on the net so let's get it github eric one there is this one github i keep always up to date so it's good to know that this one, Ultimate Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon, will always be the latest and the most up-to-date GitHub for the Linux version. 
I mean the Linux Mint version, of course. So we double click here, right mouse click there, extract somewhere. Let's try again. We can't do extract here because there's no, um, no plugin, no, no um, action made, action created. So we do it like so, and then move it like that. Voila, done. Then we need a hard code fixer here. We open this one there, and then we say, okay, give me, run this thing. And before I do enter, I press enter, I am going back to here. Yeah, good. And let's take out the ugly ones. This is an ugly one, that's an ugly one, and that's one. And this hard code fixer, what it's going to do, it's going to use the script from Fogalong. And da -da -da -da, there you go, everything fixed. Here you see that everything is now fixed, everything is blue. And that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the look it's supposed to be. And again, software engineers stop using hard code paths. Okay, solved. So as you can see, everything is following the icon theme. This means if you're going to change from icon theme again and another one to take, uh, well, to test it actually, is the Sadi Mono. And there's an, a one I really fond of. A nice creation. Where is it again? The Sadi Mono Papyrus. This is my preference at this point in time. And then it goes together maybe like so with this one. Would be nice. There's also this one, orange dark, and there's also, oops, the cacao dark. So it's all orange. That's um, that I like at this point in time. And voila, there you have it. So everything is now mono. Again, everything is in theme. These guys here, everything follows also HP. Everything is nice and beautiful. Well, enjoy the Sadi icons and the arc themes and um, Enjoy your Linux Mint system.